What's up, YouTube? We're back again with a major video, guys. So a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram. By the way, King Leonidas, the lion. I will put it up. And uh, I've been telling you guys I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan. If it wasn't for MJ, Kobe Bryant would be probably my favorite athlete ever. Um, so I was able to see MJ actually play in his prime. And to see Kobe Bryant was just a pleasure to see. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, he had a tragedy. And, uh, you know, I want to celebrate his life because he's taught us a lot. He's taught us how to grind, how to perfect our craft. And regardless if it's work, if it's school, if it's anything that you, you want to put your mind into, he uh, he gave you that, that uh, extra boost a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So here's a video for Kobe. GG, rest in peace, everybody else in that helicopter crash. And... Uh, Let's get on with it. So in our celebration, I have my Kobe jerseys. I have my Kobe sneakers. I have a bunch of all-star stuff and a lot of stuff going on. Um, I will say, man, this is this is a blessing to do this video today. Shout out to all the guys on Instagram, all my followers on YouTube. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your support. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, you guys have been pushing me to do this video. And uh, I'm so excited to do it today. So enough of the talking. I'm going to shut the fuck up. And let's go with it. All right. So first, we're going to go with starting off with the sneakers. Okay. So I don't have a lot of Kobe sneakers, but I do have some. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the signature sneakers that I did ha or happen to have. But we're also going to take a look at some of the PEs. And now some of these pictures, I may actually put pictures up also on top of that. So you guys can see Kobe actually playing in these. Which, you know, you kind of get a connection to it. All right. So we're going to first start off, no particular order, but we're going to first start off with the Kobe 9s here. So we have a Kobe 9. And this is the first shoe. This is the first shoe with this big ass doofy fucking <laughs> high top boxing. So I believe the, I believe he got the idea from a boxing shoe. And uh, Manny Pacquiao um, is actually a part of that. And this one is called the Kobe Bryant Victory Elite 9. You have the stitches here for the Achilles injury. And uh, awesome shoe flying it. A lot of people love to play basketball in this shoe. They say the traction is amazing. So now we come up to the Kobe 9. This is the Red Mamba. And this is the Black Mamba. But as you can see, the snake skin on the Black Mamba. Really luxury style shoe. You see the snake skin on the uh, reptilian skin on the back side of the shoe. And that's the Kobe 9. Next up, we have the Kobe AD. These sneakers are super comfortable, super light. They have react cushioning. They're awesome, man. So definitely if you get your hands on these, great pickup. And this is the Kobe AD NXT 360. They, got, they put a bunch of words to it. Now, as we move on, we have the Kobe 5 Chaos. He wore this on Christmas Day, played against LeBron. Cavs actually won that game, but awesome sneaker. So now we're going to get into some PEs. Well, actually, three of them are PEs and ones I just decided to put in the video. So they, this one is a Kobe Bryant PE. He never wore this on court, but there is a PE floating around with the eight in the back. I believe Bowling Twin on Instagram has it. Awesome sneaker. And... The infamous year where Kobe Bryant wore Reebok. He wore the Reebok question with the eight in the back. And what's awesome about the eight is that all Reebok questions have the three for Allen Iverson. And then he wore the Reebok answer four as well that same year. And I believe that was the year 2002, 2003. Now, this is a Lake of Colorway. It has nothing to do with. Kobe Bryant, but you see the yellow on the bottom. This is actually so fun fact. Randy Moss played in uh, Cleat 13 PE and uh, Cleat 9 PE. So it's just kind of cool that they're starting to take, starting to bring out some of these PEs out. So as we move on, we have the Kobe 1 Pro Tro. We have the black and purple. And we have the black and yellow. So that's pretty standard stuff. But now we have the 81-point game, right? So this one, 
He scored 81 points against the Raptors, as you guys know, and in this jersey. Right? So, what's pretty cool is, and we're going to also talk about the white jerseys and why they're white. Um, so, a pretty cool. Raptors are up. Kobe had 55 points in the second half. Incredible. Came back. Dominated. And to this day, is the second most points scored in the game. And then this sneaker is, I believe, in the 2005-2006 series against the Suns. He gets the tip. Comes at half court. Pulls up to the free throw elbow. Chain. Boom. And they win the game. Awesome. I believe they do lose the series. But it was just great to see Kobe. And that was actually uh, the shot in overtime. And he actually scored another bucket to bring it into overtime. So how clutch he was during his career. So here we have another Kobe AD. As you see the snakeskin. Now this is also called the Black Mamba or the City Edition. And the reason why is because it came out with this jersey with the snakeskin. Which is Kobe inspired and Kobe designed. Beautiful jersey. Kobe AD here. Yeah. So here we have the BHM Black History Month Kobe 11. Awesome Awesome shoe, really underrated shoe. Now thinking about it, maybe you can even pull that off. So as we move on, we have three Kobe Pro Trolls. We have the Carpe Diem. And you see the snake skin on the toe box. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Pop. Kobe 4. Protro is really nice. And then we got the undefeated Protro. In the Laker colorway, you're going to see Anthony Davis. A lot of the Lakers players wear these kind of jer this, uh, this particular colorway. So as we move on, we're going to take a look at some of Kobe Bryant warm-ups. So this is actually a championship warm-up. And just look at the detail. These are all the championships the Lakers received up until 2009. Of course, they also won in 2010. And if you look at the front, you had the Adidas logo there. Really, really nice. So, of course, in his 1996 rookie season, Kobe Bryant decided to enter the slam dunk contest. And here we have the warm up in which he's in which he won the slam dunk contest in. So pretty dope. Really well made. You see the quality the Mitchell Ness puts into it. The lake is stitched. Super fire. So then on top of that, Mitchell and Ness came out with. I believe in 2019, they came out with the Kobe Bryant Terry Cloth collection. So not many people knew about this. And you see Kobe Bryant's signature here. You have the buttons coming across. Everything's like a leg, like a heat press stick on. But really well done. And then the shorts, same material, Terry Clark material, but you have the Kobe Bryant signature here. It's a pocket, pretty cool. All right, so now we get to the jerseys. So first we're gonna start off with the number eight, number eight jersey. That's what Kobe Bryant came into the league with. So here we have the rookie jerseys and if you notice the eight, you see that big, thick shadow. Another thing I want you guys to notice, you see the gold logo. So just to let you guys know, Champion's the only one that made the gold logo jerseys. So if you see any other manufacturer with the gold logo jersey, it is not authentic. It's not real. Champion's the only one in 96, 97 to make jerseys authentic. And that's Kobe Bryant's first year. 
This is another rookie jersey. Again, that awesome shadowing that you would see. You see that stitched. Beautifully done. All right. So that's 1996-97. Now, as we get into the same 1996-97, Mitchell and Ness actually messed up with this jersey here. So I believe he wore this jersey in maybe 2002 to 2004 season, but he never wore it during this 96-97 season that they put the on the jock tag. So that's inaccurate. And while we're at the blue jerseys, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So to let you know, we have the MLPS jersey. So this is Minneapolis Lakers, right? We have another one here. This is the Swingman version. So I actually bought this in like 2003, 2004, I believe. And I uh, still have it, still in good condition, wore it, try to take care of it. So this is the first year that the Lakers, um, first jerseys that the Lakers wore when they used to play in Minneapolis. Then they went to this jersey in Minneapolis. And this was the last jersey that they wore in Minneapolis. So this is now talking 50s, 60s. So then they go to Los Angeles, and this is the first jerseys that they wore in Los Angeles, this blue. So you're going to see Jerry West. You're going to see Elgin Baylor with this blue font, this Los Angeles across the script, wearing those jerseys, those actual jerseys. And I believe they went yellow in the 60s, late 60s, sometime in the 60s. All right. Now, another thing I want to show you is the white jerseys. So you're probably wondering why or when. The white jerseys came into play. So we have two here. This is an original Swingman that I purchased back 2002, three. So the first, so, okay, let's, let's start over. The first thing is the Sunday. So these are Sunday white jerseys, right? And they were created by Jeannie Buss, who was the daughter of, uh, fuck, fuck is his name? The owner. I'm not a Laker fan, so <laughs> can't help you there, bro. Anyway, the main guy, okay, the other bus, the daddy. So daddy <laughs> bus, daddy. and you have genie bus. So genie bus made the white Sunday white jerseys to commemorate um, Chick Hearn. Um, I believe he was a announcer. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. And so you have the Sunday white jerseys. They only wear the white jerseys on Sunday. So it's important to know that. Or oh, that's a good thing to know. All right. So we have that. So we got the rookie jersey squared away. Now we have the finals jerseys. So this is supposed to represent. Now notice the eight. See the eight's a little different. So at this time, you got Nike uh, actually manufacturing the authentics. Nike took over for the Lakers in the 97 98 season but they still made a very similar style to this and then they moved on to this with the wishbone and then actually a couple of uh teams that nike were manufacturing jerseys for also had this wishbone i believe the raptors were one of them dallas mavericks so a couple of other ones so this is kobe bryant's first championship with big shack dog and on this jersey you're gonna see the stripe the stripes for wilt chamberlain you see the finals patch. Fun fact, the first finals jersey with the finals patch was 95-96, Michael Jordan. And this is the 99-2000. So they beat the Pacers. Now, Kobe Bryant had a great moment in that time period where he, Shaq fouls out, I believe, game four. I, I don't remember exactly which game it was. But Shaq fouls out. Kobe plays in the overtime. Kobe scores about six points. He does the, he hits the jump shot, does the pause, like, I got this. And you could tell, like, the kid was coming up. So this is the repeat. They win the year later. And this is probably one of the most underrated playoff performances I've ever seen. So during this playoff run, he scores back-to-back 40-point -back games against the San Antonio Spurs, which... Many regard, regard as Tim Duncan as the greatest power forward ever, deservingly so. 
and also t uh, David Robinson was also still playing during that time period. And uh, I believe he had another 40-point game against the uh, Kings in that same that same uh, playoff run. So, I mean, just the dominance that he had, um, you know, you know, it is what it is. So, as we go on, so finals jerseys done. Now we're going to take a look at some All-Star Game jerseys. So, here we have the 2000 All-Star Game jersey. So, Kobe Bryant, I believe this All-Star Game took place in Oakland. And uh, you have the All-Star patch. That's pretty cool. So now we get to the 2009 All-Star Game. Now this jersey is going to be dope for a lot of reasons. One, Kobe Bryant won the MVP with Shaq. So that's the first time they, I think they've, you know, kind of getting over their beef and playing together. And they uh, co got co-MVP. Kobe Bryant then gives the uh, the MVP award to Shaq and his son. So that's another thing that was pretty cool. But another thing that's really dope about this jersey is you see the holes, the perforations. Is it perforations or perforations? Perforations. Perforations. So you see the perforations. Now, this is supposed to uh, emulate the Revolution 30 jerseys that Adidas had. And what's cool about these are uh, the, uh, this was like the first time with technology and making, you see how all of these meshes and and dry fit materials and and you know you have all the, now they tried to make it more breathable so this was the first Michelin S gave a stab at trying to replicate uh an Adidas jersey and i think they did a pretty good job with that so mvp season i mean sorry so mvp all star game so here we had the 2004 all star jersey right he wore the 2k Fours, the red, black, and white 2K fours. Dope jersey. See that beautiful West stitched. And then the last of the All Star jerseys. We have 2003. This is the last All Star game that Michael Jordan will play in. Kobe went at him. Uh, you know, great game, enjoyed the game, and uh, so that takes care of the all star jerseys, right? So, let's go to this side. So, I spoke about the Black Mama jersey, we have another MLPS swingman, right? With the Nike Connect, all right, now we have the gold jersey. And I think these gold jerseys are pretty awesome. Check out that patch. And then we have the Adidas white. Now to me, the Adidas jerseys are probably some of the best jerseys made. Just on point with the stitching. Take a look at the jock tag. And the purple. So what you're going to notice here is, so as we take a look at the last part, this uh, Kobe Bryant collection, what you're going to see here, you're going to notice the purple is a little different here on the Adidas jersey. And uh, the Michelin S purple is a little more dull. So let's get into these now. So we have the 24 jersey. A lot of people ask, was Kobe Bryant better at 24 or is it number 8? I think 24 was a little bit of a smarter player. Number 8 would dunk on you from the free throw line, cross you up. But I think 24 was a little smarter and uh, played better with his team. Here you have the Adidas. You see how beautiful this jersey is. All double stitched. So another thing that Mitchell and S did get wrong here is if you take a look at, I'm gonna show you this jersey here, fat. And this is actually a Sunday white trophy uh, finals jersey. This is the year they played Magic. This is his fourth championship. Now, if you take a look at this, this is double stitched here. 
So they haven't gone to the Revolution 30 jerseys yet. But this is the same year, right? And Mitchell and Ness decides to put a single stitch without the double applique 12. So this should have been like this, basically. And the same goes for here. So here's the final. This is <laughs> funny. This is actually... This jersey is the actual jersey from 2009. This jersey is basically the retro or the, uh, you know, the Mitchell and S version of what that jersey is supposed to be. So you see how the double stitch is here and you see how we have a single stitched here. Both beautiful jerseys. You see the stitch in is immaculate. Like, I mean, really well done. So that is another finals jersey. This is his fourth ring here. And take a look at the inside here. I mean, just immaculate, right? Really well done. So, so we have the fourth championship. Here we have the 2006-2007 season and the 2007-2008 season. Now, what's awesome about this jersey, and they do have two versions of this jersey, so you got to be a little careful. There's one without the 60th anniversary patch, which all jerseys from this era should, from this year, should have the 60th anniversary patch. Because it was the 60th anniversary for the Lakers. This also happens to be Kobe's MVP season. His only MVP season. I think Kobe Bryant was the best player in the league for most of the decade. If not all the decade. Um, a lot of people want to say Duncan. A lot of people want to put LeBron in there. You could definitely make a... Uh, a uh, what the fuck's the word? Case. You could definitely make a case for uh, for both of those players. But to me, personally, I think Kobe Bryant was the best player in the 2000 to, 2000, to 2010 era. And, uh, yeah. So, this is the jersey collection, guys. So, we got the number eight jerseys. We got rookie Kobe. We got the MLPS jerseys. We got the Sunday white jerseys. We got old school swingmans. We got all-star jerseys here. We got jerseys there. We got the kicks. We got the pro trolls. We got the pro We got the fours. We got everything we got. And uh, I just want to say, I really hope, though, so my one last message is, um, I really hope Nike's able to figure out a way. Um, I really didn't want to talk about it, but it is what it is. I'm hoping Nike figure out, uh, can figure out a way that resellers don't get their hands on the uh, Kobe products first and then raise the, the market on resale because um, it, it's unfortunate. And uh, there's guys like me who's, and this, there's a lot of Kobe Bryant fans that, want to enjoy his his stuff and it's hard to when uh when you get somebody with a bot that wants to buy the sneaker or the jersey and then sell it for double to triple the price um so hopefully nike takes his time figures it out um i'll support nike because at the end of the day they'll support vanessa and the girls and uh and that's where i uh, i stand with that so hope you guys enjoyed the video Please like, subscribe, um, Instagram, follow me, King Leonidas. Uh, and that's that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we out.